Sea turtles are thought to have been around for 100 million years or more. There's evidence dating back to them being around in prehistoric times. Even though they have a lengthy existence, sea turtles are endangered. Due to their endangerment, they are protected under the Federal Endangered Species Act of 1973 and also the Florida's Marine Animal Protection Act. Studies show that an increased number of sea turtles are not making it to adulthood. Only 1 in 1,000 to 10,000 sea turtles make it to adulthood. What's going on? Research shows that sea turtles have both natural predators and human influences affecting their population. Sea turtles natural predators have been around for all of a sea turtle's existence. The recent rise in population deterioration is because of human influences. Sea turtles have been around for many years and always had a tough time surviving to adulthood. Only 90% of all sea turtles make it to see their first birthday. Natural predators start off for sea turtles when they aren't even hatched yet. Sea turtle nests are built on the beach where many different animals will end up feasting on them. Animals such as raccoons, dogs, foxes, crabs, birds, anything will feast on those eggs. Even once they're hatched, before the sea turtles make it to the ocean, they still have to fight out these predators while walking to the ocean. Depending on the habitat and the species of a sea turtle, some may have camouflage that can help them hide from their predators in the ocean. Once a sea turtle reaches adulthood, they have very few natural predators. Predators can be a killer whale or a shark. Even though a sea turtle has a protected shell, an orca whale can bite right through it. Sea turtles battle their natural land and sea predators. It's the actions of humans that are causing them to become endangered. Another aspect that sea turtles very much affects them is that humans hunt them for their shells and also for their meat. Even eggs have been taken for food. Another thing that can hurt them is fishing and boating accidents. Sea turtles can get caught up in fishing nets or accidentally caught on fishing hooks. Also, strolling boats can injure or kill sea turtles. An estimated 150,000 sea turtles die every year from boating and fishing accidents. Another thing that humans are doing is causing pollution and leaving behind waste. The waste and pollution causes disease and viruses that can affect many sea turtles at a time. Artificial lighting direct sea turtles in the wrong direction when sea turtles hatch. Sea turtles look for the horizon to guide them to their natural habitat, which is the ocean. But artificial lighting can guide them to communities and dangerous areas. Sea turtles are endangered, so what are we doing to help their species grow now? There are, have been many legal efforts taken to protect sea turtles. There has been the Endangered Species Act of 1973 that was made by the U.S. Department of Interior and Commerce. It stops the extinction of animals, plants in the U.S. and in the ocean. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species for Wild Fauna and Flora regulates trade in certain wildlife species, such as their shells. The World Conservation Union's Worldwide Conservation Union, that will protect them and help us know Apart from legal efforts, people have also taken the sea turtles' endangerment and are trying to make a difference. Biologists sometimes protect sea turtle nests with screens to avoid off predators and make people aware of the sea turtle nests. Many beach communities are using low-pressure sodium lights to help lessen the confusion that we give to our sea turtles. Wildlife refuges are also being formed along the east coast of Florida and also other governments, such as Nicaragua and Costa Rica, are being to establish their wildlife refuges, national parks, and biological reserves. Awareness is also the simplest thing that people can do to help sea turtles. Raising awareness and educating beachgoers, tourists, and surrounding beach communities will help sea turtles make a comeback. Sea turtles have been around for over 100 million years, populating our oceans and reproducing on our beaches. They have had many natural predators facing them for all of their existence and they are just recently endangered due to human activities. Things like fishing nets, boats, hunting, noise disturbance, and artificial lighting harm sea turtles. 
Nevertheless, sea turtles can be restored by the legal action being taken place, such as wild refuge centers, biologists, beach communities, and awareness, and by us. How can people everywhere continue to raise awareness and help these ocean creatures get out of the hole that humans have placed them in?